So I've done a lot of thrifting the, since I've gotten to school pretty much and it's been so much that I think I need to just make one whole video about it. Um, it might not seem like it's a lot of items, but for me, a broke college student, it really is. I mean, I don't know how these professional thrifters do it. It is a lot of hard work and a lot of money and a lot of time, but it is super duper fun and I'm so excited to show you all everything I got and how I'm going to style it because that is always a fun journey to embark on. friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. This week's video is actually a huge thrift haul. I'm so excited because throughout the past month or two, well I guess two months maybe, I've been thrifting a lot, kind of, and so I just have this big pile of clothes right here. I'm so excited to show you all what I got, and yeah, let's just get right on into it. But before we do, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and let me know what you think of this video. Yeah. Let's go and look at all the clothes. So I want to start with my most recent thrift trip. Unfortunately, I did not get any clips here, but this was a more than a pop-up shop, um, a little small business, kind of like farmer's market. It was super cute. There was like vegan vendors. There was some thrifters and people who were selling art prints. And so this is what I bought. I bought this super cute, very Y2K Argyle V-neck sweater. The colors are pink and gray and black. And honestly, this gives me Mean Girl vibes, so oh, watch out. Um, just kidding, I'm not a Mean Girl, but I think it's super fun and I love it a lot. The second item I got at the More Than A Pop-Up Shop was this Christopher and Banks, um, like almost like a flannel, but it's actually gingham and it has shoulder pads. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I really like it. I was thinking I could pair this with a turtleneck and have this over it with some nice jeans and I think it's just super fun and I love the pattern. Again, it reminds me of a picnic blanket so maybe I'll wear that on some picnic dates. So the next place that I went was Global Neighborhood Thrift. It is a thrift store that is in the Logan neighborhood near Gonzaga University which is the campus I go to and so the first thing I got was the super cute Mickey Mouse crew neck. Wow, I think it is so cute. It's from Disney World and it is worn in, which is perfect because some of my crew necks are too thick, so I can't really tuck them into anything. But this is perfect. Second item that I got from Global Neighborhood Thrift was this white sweater vest. If you've been on Depop, Pinterest, Instagram, honestly, these are so popular and trendy right now. I'm still learning the best way that I like to style it on my body. I do think it's super fun and I love the simplicity of this one and like the little knit pattern and I'm just so excited to wear this more. The next item I want to show is actually from a Instagram thrift shop. This is a cardigan that I got from Thrifty Gal on Instagram and it is a cropped one and it's tight and just super cute for honestly just like with jeans and some like gold jewelry. It looks really, really fun and nice. And like, I really enjoy that top. Then I went to another sort of pop-up and this one was near Boulevard Mercantile. And so first I got this Varsity Cruise neck sweater. I think that I've seen a lot of styles like this on Yes Style. I think I've seen Ono oh Nina buy like a sweater like this and I thought it was so, so, so cute. I love like the Varsity style and just how cute and simple it is and very preppy. The second sweater I got was this one. It honestly just makes me think of a grandma. I think it's so cute. It is from Eddie Bauer and I love how it's like an apple orchard and these cats and both of these sweaters were only five dollars so I love this find and I really 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 love it. Like this one was so cute. Last but not least, I went to The Ark, which is another thrift store here in Spokane. And these are a little bit less exciting, but it's still great nonetheless. So I've always wanted a Life is Good t-shirt. So I finally found one. I think it's so cute. I love pink, and this is like a bubblegum pink. So that's really, really fun. And I like how on the inside of the tag, it just kind of talks about their like brand motto. And yeah, I enjoy it a lot, and I can't wait to wear this. Then I got two polos. This one is like a lilac one. I am so excited to layer with this one. I love the color. 
very perfect for spring so when spring rolls around this will be great and then I also have a navy one. It kind of looks black on camera, but this is certainly navy. And I have a navy tennis skirt, so it's perfect because this would be really good with like my white sweater vest. And I love layering with this again, too. Last but not least, this is something that I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. Um, it's definitely like unique. It is <laughs> this Tommy jeans like sweater vest, like sweater vest sweatshirt. It has pockets too right here like i really don't know what to think about it I, it's like kind of gives me like juicy couture vibes like very early y2k i like love it but i hate it at the same time and i really don't know how i feel about it but yes thank you all so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if i decide that i don't want any of these items and i don't like how they look on me or just any other random items i thrift and i decide would be better for someone else and a better home for someone else I will be posting on my Depop, potentially. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but I think I will do it. Um, I want to, um, especially with like the clothes that I find, and I'm like, I think it's super cute, because nowadays we can't try on clothes, so it's super hard, because I'm like, I think this will look cute, and I try it on when I get home, and it doesn't work out. So then I think, why not just like, let it find a better home on Depop or something like that. So that's just been my thinking. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and that you're all doing happy and healthy during this time. Bye.